What's up, YouTube? So, this is another edition of our Mechanics Monday <laughs> video that we did last week. This will be the second one we're doing. Uh, today's topic is going to be protection. So this is a mechanic that Wizards kind of wanted to steer away from. They did hexproof yeah. and hexproof from other things um, because a lot of people get protection incorrectly. So they were going to pretty much avoid printing it as much as possible, but they did print it in the core set. Yep. Um, and they printed six cards that are currently in standard, and one of them is seeing a lot of play in the feather deck. So we're going to talk about protection because that is in standard currently. So... There's a really easy acronym to remember how this works. And then after we show you that and talk about it, we'll go through the cards. So that acronym is debt. So what does this mean? So the D stands for damage, uh, a creature with protection from some given type, uh, whether it's a color or a certain creature type or something. Um, sources of that type can't deal it damage. You know what the E is for? Uh, no. The E is for enchantments. The, oh, okay. the permanent cannot be enchanted by something of that color or, you know, if it's some sort of weird tribal... So, like, if you give something a protection from a color, right? Then, yeah. yeah. So then it so can't be enchanted by that by color. That color. Um, and I suppose there could be some weird corner cases where you have uh, protection from fairies and then you try to enchant it with a tribal, I don't know, yeah, like I, bitter blossom. I don't know, something <laughs> like that. Uh, and then, do you know what the B is for? Mm, no. Blockers. Oh, okay. So a creature with protection from white cannot be blocked by a white creature, and so forth. And do you know what the T is for? Yeah, you know the answer. I'm going to say yeah. No. He's he's just pretending, guys. He knows the answer. It's <laughs> just for good good video. Uh, it's targeting. So a creature with protection from red cannot be targeted by anything red, whether it's a spell or ability. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get into a few cards that are currently in standard. Let me switch images here. Um, they're not all necessarily seeing play. Guess that'll work, right? Sure. Yeah. All right. So first one, we had to kind of adjust the camera a little bit. <laughs> uh, Apostle of Purifying Light. You want to read the card? Uh, sure. So it's a two mana two one with protection from black, and then the irrelevant for this is pay two generic exile target card from a graveyard. That's so not from as you can video. see on the actual card, it says it can't be blocked. There's your B. Targeted. There's your T. Dealt damage. There's your D. And enchanted or equipped. I suppose we missed the equipping. Yeah, part. which is um, I guess newer. It's a newer bonus, mechanic yeah. from when the the acronym existed. So um, it, actually, the core set has the reminder text on it for you. Yep. Um, and this card isn't really seeing any play, um, so it's not super relevant. The next one we have is push that over. Blade beetle. So again, two mana one one creature. Well, this one has protection from green, and then, of course, irrelevant creatures. So your points irrelevant to this discussion. Plus yeah. one, plus one counters put on them, yeah. Um, so, again, not a card that's actually seeing standard play, but uh, it is relevant. Because and we're just going to go through all of the cards there, because every color in the core set yeah. has a protection card in it. Yep. So, um, this one being Cerulean Drake, uh, two mana, one, one, flying, protection from red, and then Sacrifice Cerulean Drake, counter target spell that targets you. So I don't actually mind this card so much. Um, of the five creatures, it's probably the second best, I think. Uh, yeah, because I don't even remember what the red one is. Oh, it's the Brawler thingy. That's yeah, the yeah. So, we'll get to that. Yeah, this one's pretty decent because uh, it can block red creatures all day long. Yep. And uh, if they try to burn your face... You can sacrifice it. Yeah, so one of the interesting things for this is it's that you have the like the mono blue temple style or the blue small weenies deck, uh, chain whirler. Yeah, it's a kills very everything. Relevant card and it just kills everything in your deck. Yep. Except Cerulean Drake because yep. it can't be dealt damage by red sources. Yep. All right. So the next card we have that we're talking about will be. Let's do yeah. this one first. Yeah, that's probably the um, better one. We'll save the best for last. Yep. So go uh, ahead and read it off. Unchained Berserker again, a two mana. This is a 1-1 one, one with protection from white. And when Unchained Breaker, Berserker, whatever Berserker. it is, gets plus 2, plus 0 as long as it's attacking. Um, so it's kind of like Elite Van... Or, uh, yeah, not Elite Vanguard. What's no. the one in... Uh, Adanto Vanguard. Adanto Vanguard. It's kind of like the red Adanto Vanguard. And the um, thing that, I guess, like, this could actually... This can block the Adanto Vanguard. Yeah. And not and, die. And force them to pay life. Correct. But then so, on the swingback, the Vanguard can't block it because it is yeah. pro-white. Yep. And then we're going to talk about the 
best one, clearly the best one out of the cycle. Yeah. With the only one that's a rare. You pointed that out to me. I yeah, didn't realize yep. that. Uh, go ahead and the read it. Shifting Ceratops. Yep. So this is your your four mana five four. Uh, spell can't be countered, and then it has protection from blue, and then of course one green gets a whole bunch of other things. Yep. So, so if you're playing green, it's what a four of. I probably probably yeah. um, four of against any Esper deck, any blue deck. It's it's a really good card against. Them. Yeah, and the thing I guess the reason I could see them putting you know the spell can't be countered onto this is the fact that. Protection from blue doesn't give that spell protection from Correct. counter spells Correct. while it's on the stack. Yep. So, so uh, <laughs> it doesn't actually have protection from blue until it's on the battlefield. Right. Um, okay, so the last card we're going to talk about, which is probably, I guess it's probably the most relevant. Um, currently. Yep. Currently, although Shifting Ceratops is pretty relevant. Yeah. Uh, and this is God's Willing. So this is in the Feather deck. Uh, go ahead and read it. And we'll uh, talk about it. So it's it. a one-mana instant. The card is white, and it says target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. And of course, scry one at the end of it. So you're targeting a creature that gets protection, so it's going to gain one of those five colors. And it's relevant you say that colored. because it's colored. Yeah. You can't choose artifacts or colorless. Yeah. Uh, not with this card currently. So uh, The other interesting part, interesting part about God's Willing is that um, never mind. It's target creature you control. I was yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. it was any any creature. You yeah, could, this you could, this like, one's not. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Never mind. So, um, but the thing, and I guess the most relevant thing to this is that uh, Feather plays a lot of spells. Um, they do a lot of things that they need to target their, you know, obviously target their own creatures as well as maybe yours. So, uh, say you were to, I don't know, shock a feather. That's fine. It goes to if you lightning strike the feather. Uh, they God's willing to get protection from red, then after that fact, they can't target it with a Reckless Rage. Correct. Because it now has protection from yep. red, the it's, target it's, ability uh, actually... It is a symmetrical effect. Yep. Yep, and that's why they went to the Hexproof, um, Hexproof from Colors, because that's an asymmetrical effect, yep. so that you can target your own things. This makes it so neither player can. So, um, and, and one interesting thing we didn't talk about is if you give a creature protection, it's not really going to come up here, let's say, let's say they had a, what's a blue enchantment that like taps a creature down permanently? That's in standard. Uh, I don't know. There's the four mana enchant creature. Sure, I don't even remember. Yeah. So remember, you can't enchant creatures with protection. Right. So let's say your opponent is playing a real, let's say a really bad draft deck at FNM, um, and they put, you know, the deep freeze. We'll call it the deep freeze. Sure. The, the yeah. enchantment that permanently taps something down onto your creature. You could God's Willing it, give it protection from blue, and that enchantment will fall off. Yep. So you don't need to do it in response, but you can do it later on, like if you draw it later. Yeah, maybe game. you didn't have it. You can your unlock hand. your creature by yeah. giving it protection from blue, um, because it can't be enchanted. It's not that it can't be targeted at this point, it can't be enchanted by it. Right. Um, so that will make it fall so off. I guess same things to the fact of, uh, say they have, you have something that's buffing your creature takes it up to a four power creature. They get an enchantment that's on it, gives it plus one, plus one, or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, they go to exile target creature that is power four or greater. Um, oh, sure, you could, you, can, you could blow up your own enchantment to save Yeah, you can God's Will in your creature yep. to save it from that. Uh, corner case, in case yep. you needed to shrink it just, yep. just to do that. So yeah, basically the corner case is like, you don't have to use this only to protect it from a spell. You can use it to protect things that are enchanted on it. Um, is that all we're talking about in this video? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, I guess the other thing to remember is that... So, uh, it got brought up, I think, in one video. Somebody had said something or mentioned something about, like, Feather with uh, Deafening Clarion. Okay. Um, so, the opponent, they had cast the God's Willing to give it protection from red. And then used the Deafening Clarion. And they didn't quite... People didn't quite understand... Why, like, I think they cast it in their spell, like, it had yeah, damage it probably on it had already. damage on it already. Yeah, and why the feather didn't die, and again, that's that Deafening Clarion is a source of damage. Yep, so it damage, it can't be dealt damage by a red source. Right. So the same would be true if you were to uh, do a Chandra board wipe or something, yeah. um, give it protection for red, that damage doesn't go through. Um, trying to think of other corner cases in standard where it, 
I can't. It's, really it's kind of hard. For standard There's a you, lot in older formats. Yeah, of course. yeah. If I you mean, go to older formats, protection goes all the way back to alpha. So yep. you had white knight, black knight, circle protection for each color and artifacts. Yeah, and it's funny you bring um, up uh, white knight, black knight. So like the reason they did it because we currently have a white knight and a black knight in standard, mm -hmm. but they were hex proof to get a round from. Well, that. we don't now. So well, they it, rotated knight of infamy. No, the hex proof from the plus one plus zero knight and for black and for white. I don't even remember. I Knight, of, they Knight of Valor and Knight of oh. whatever. The first strike knights, they're cool. two mana, two ones, whatever. Don't so. see play. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there are some corner. They're like, the reason that like magic's changing a little bit, wizards changing some things going back, I think, to like protection. So yeah, kind of the, nice. They mentioned they wanted to get, get it away from printed, like standard magic yeah. uh, as much as possible because a lot of people just get confused and don't play it correctly and... That's why they went to the hex proof. So, um, hence the reason for this video. So. Yep. So we can explain how it works. So hopefully it was uh, easy to understand, and we didn't just <laughs> ramble for I don't know how long this video is five ten minutes or something, something like that. that. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Like the video. Comment below. He's gonna make me do it every time. Yeah. Uh, he has to you know, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitch. Liberty MTG on Twitch. We've been streaming on Friday nights. Yep. And that's it, Just right? for Zach. Oh, hit the bell for Zach. Yep. Thanks, everybody.